As the housing markets and banks continued to hemorrhage, only one of the big shorts refused to sell, Mark Baum. So it was beyond perfect when he was asked to speak at a conference opposite Bruce Miller, a famous bullish investor. After he and Mark had their debate, Alan Greenspan, one of the architects of the whole crisis, was scheduled to speak. Everyone in Mark's office showed up, even invited friends. This was the Ali versus Foreman of the financial world, the realists versus the fools. And if it seems almost too perfect, trust me, this happened. Welcome, everyone. Please give a generous welcome to Mr. Bruce Miller and Mark Baum. So as some of you may know, Bear Stearns has just received a loan from J.P. Morgan. Of course, we're going to have to wait and see how the markets react, but that should lay to rest any concerns about the bank's health. No, I take it you have no plans to sell your $200 million in Bear stock? No, as a matter of fact, when we're done here, I'll probably go out and buy some more. For the opposing view, Mr. Baum. I got a stance for this. Okay, hi. My firm's thesis is pretty simple. Wall Street took a good idea, Louis Ranieri's mortgage bond, and turned it into an atomic bomb of fraud and stupidity that's on its way to decimating the world economy. How do you really feel? <laughs> I'm glad you still have a sense of humor. I wouldn't if I were you. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I have no problem telling someone they're wrong. But for the first Holy time in my life, it's not so oh, enjoyable. <laughs> we live in an era of fraud in America, not just in banking, but in government, education, religion, food, even baseball. What bothers me isn't that fraud is not nice or that fraud is mean. It's that for 15,000 years, Fraud and short-sighted thinking have never, ever worked. Not once. Jesus, we're at 37. Eventually, we're at 37. Get caught. Like Things go south. It's fucking plummeting, man. It's fucking plummeting. When the hell did we forget all that? I thought we were better than this. I really did. And the fact that we're not doesn't make me feel all right and superior. It makes me feel sad. Every time I... Hit refresh, it's dropping, man. It Every always time. goes. Yeah. And as fun as it is to watch pompous, dumb Wall Streeters be wildly wrong, and you are wrong, sir, I just know that at the end of the day, average people are going to be the ones that are going to have to pay for all of this. Because they always, 32? always do. It's 32. Yeah, it's fucking it's tech, man. That's my two cents. Thank you. I'm going to drop a deuce at Deutsche. Does our bull have a response? Only that in the entire history of Wall Street, no investment bank has ever failed unless caught in criminal activities. So, yes, I stand by my Bear Stearns optimism. Uh, Mr. Miller, I'm sorry, quick question. From the time you guys started talking, Bear Stearns stock has fallen more than 38%. Would you still buy more? Yeah, sure. Uh, of course I'd buy more. Why not? Boom. Jesus Christ. That oh, no. The first part of our presentation. Um, up next, we have the legendary former chairman of the Fed, Alan Greenspan. Folks. 